Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cinecool, and this is Gems of War. And today we have the 5.4 update, so I'm going to read you the patch notes. Uh, it came in last night, I'm pretty sure, March 23rd, 2021. What is today? The 24th? So it came in yesterday. It wasn't a huge patch, but instead of you having to seek it out, you can just watch on the channel, listen. Maybe while you're working or whatever, you can just hear about it instead of seeking it out and reading the patch notes. I can just read them to you. So yeah, let's get started here. 5.4 update. Um, what else did I want to say? Oh, we're at 3,915 subscribers. So if you want to get to that 4,000, we need 85 more subscribers in the next, um, what, seven, eight days. So you got a little bit over a week for... 85 subscribers that's like eight over eight a day 10 a day something like that so let's get it come on we're getting there it's like ugh, getting closer but you know i don't know it's gonna be a close one so subscribe if you want that reward um that after dark live stream gems of war extra live stream where we could possibly go up to beat our record or it might just be an extra live stream we'll see uh depends how you know the night goes here we go, 5.4 update, let's get it. Uh, technical update, first thing it says here. We have had made a major technical upgrade to Gems of War, so we will be able to look at supporting next-gen consoles and other new hardware in future updates. So I might say a little bit in between these and not just exactly read it. But um, yeah, technical update, just meaning their upgrade, I don't know. You know, I'm not a technical guy, but in my eyes that means, in my brain that means... Hey, they're upgrading the game a little bit so it can do more things on the next-gen console. So it can, you know, move to the next-gen consoles, basically. That's it, you know? All right, tiered flash offers. We have added a new type of flash offer to the game, tiered flash offers. Already don't care, but uh, I'll keep reading. Tiered flash offers will offer three different types of offers at different price points based on a shared theme. Examples of themes are the Gnome Vault, Underworld, or Deeds. These offers can be purchased in any order, and each have their own limit to how many times they can be purchased. So basically, new ways to spend money in the game if there already isn't enough. Um, tiered Flash offers. So something like um, uh, uh, Deeds will pop up, and you know... There may be, like, uh, you can buy uh, a bunch of writs or a bunch of a certain kind of deed. Maybe an imperial deed, maybe a book. And that'll be the tier, you know, like, 50 writs is a dollar. Um, a book of deeds is five dollars. Uh, or whatever. No. You know what I mean. So, writs, one dollar. Uh, imperial deed, five dollars. Book of deeds, ten dollars. Something like that. That sounds too reasonable to me, which I would never pay that, but, uh. They'll probably do something stupid like 5, 10, 20 or something, or 50, crazy, 50 bucks for a book or something, which it should be because they're supposed to be hard to get, but anyway. So more ways to spend your money. Give them money. New spell effects. We have added in several new spell effects into the game. Some of these include new gem shapes on the board. New gem shapes on the board. What can that possibly mean? Is that like the X explode? The column and the row? Is that what they're talking about? Gym explodes or gym shapes on the board? Is that like not circles? Squares? I don't know. New gym shape. Let's, I'll just read it and then I'll comment. Sorry. We have added in several new spell effects into the game. Some of these include new gym shapes on the board and new color target types. These will be found in spells and future troop releases. So nothing that's in the game right now. But what does that mean? New gem shapes on the board and new color target types. Uh, maybe you target uh, multiple colors? I don't know. And then the gem shape thing, does that mean like the way stuff explodes? You know how there's like an X explode or a column or a row? Or does that mean like actual triangle gems? <laughs> I don't know. I guess we're going to see. Um, that sounds interesting though. That's the most interesting thing I've seen so far. Uh, technical update and tiered flash offers will not be anything that I'm going to care about. I'm, I don't have a next-gen system, and I'm not going to spend real money. I'm totally free to play. VIP zero. 
Uh, new status effect, Lycanthropy. What is that, like werewolves? We have a new status effect, Lycanthropy. While a troop is affected by Lycanthropy, there's a chance that it will trigger and transform them into a random beast. This status effect will feature in a future campaign where it will play a big part in its story. For the moment, you will only be able to see it via the random status effect that some spells and traits inflict upon enemies. We have updated several immunity traits to include immunity to lycanthropy. So immune, fortitude, undying, impervious, and invulnerable will all have um, immunity to lycanthropy. So that's a new status effect, lycanthropy. You basically affect somebody with something similar to Deathmark, it sounds like, and then uh, they have a chance every turn to turn into a random beast. So that could really mess up your team. If you have a certain team... And they hit you with lycanthropy on a couple of those troops. And you get turned into some random beasts. And it's really going to mess you up. It sounds kind of, I don't know, interesting, but not crazy cool. So looks like we're going to get some werewolves in a, in a campaign that revolves around werewolves. New achievements. Uh, I believe in a higher power. Reach kingdom power level 15 and 5 kingdoms. Hopefully you got your magic kingdoms to level 15. That would be a good one to get that. Social Climber, get a total of 300 social items. Emoji packs, portraits, or titles. I got that one, like, right away as soon as I did the update, so most of you probably will as well. General, the player's invite code will now display on the show password menu. Uh, campaign Elite Plus menu will now display the total number of bonus stars a player will earn from purchasing it over the duration of the campaign. Two things I don't really care about. Bug fixes. We have fixed an issue where the game would crash of attempting to use the back button on Android devices. We had to disable the back button on Android when this issue first appeared. We have re-abled it in the 5.4 update. We have fixed an issue where a battle would not end if the mechanome ran away when he was the last troop. We have fixed an issue where the manage team button would not work when playing a Dell for the first time. We have fixed an issue where banding traits were not applying correctly for each ally with an unlocking banding trait. We have also fixed an assortment of smaller issues. So that's it. That's all they have for the 5.4 update. Um, so getting ready for the next gen. Putting things in the game for the next campaign. And so we get kind of get a sneak peek. A peek, a sneak peek. We get a sneak peek <clears throat> of the stuff that's going to happen here soon. Lycanthropy, new status effects, and all that. So yeah, that's all I got for you today. Um... Like, share, subscribe, consider joining, it helps a lot. Tell your guild about the channel, and I'll see y'all tomorrow for the class event. Um, subscribe, subscribe, 85 to go till April 2nd. That's all we got till April 2nd. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Thank you so much. Peace.